Welcome back to the Film Arsenal. This is Clint, and I'm gonna be showing you guys how to do a quick composite here in Nuke. First things first, I want to uh, show you guys the footage I have here. We'll be working with this 4K red footage that you see here. There's another boat in the background. We want to remove that. Let's go ahead and do that. This is a clip from cinematographer Derek Mindler. I have a link in the description below where you can download this footage. So let's go ahead and just play this back. So we have the sailboat just in the middle of the ocean. And this is uh, pretty much, we're gonna treat this like a mock production. So a producer comes to us, says, uh, or, the, or the director comes to us and says, hey, we have this awesome shot in the middle of the ocean. Problem is there is a, there's another boat in the background. We wanna remove that, that uh, vessel. So if you see it here, it's. You know, it can either add to the shot or take away, depending on the context of the film or show. So um, in this case, the director wants us to remove that. So let's go ahead and do that. So as usual, first things first, we're gonna import our video footage. And we're gonna convert that over to an image sequence, okay. And let's go ahead and confirm what the frame rate is here in VLC. 24, okay. Awesome. So hitting one on the keyboard, I'm just gonna scroll to the end of the clip. And I'm only gonna export the frames that I want. This clip here is part of a larger, when you guys download the footage, it's gonna start off and you're gonna see a bunch of different clips. Really nice footage, okay? Beautiful footage, actually. It's all 4K. So, for this tutorial, we are gonna be using the last shot in the footage, okay? So it starts at about four minutes in. So that's what we're gonna be working with today. So, go ahead and scrub to, to where that starts. I'm just holding the uh, left arrows and the right arrow. Just trying to find the uh, first frame here. Here we go. So it starts at 666. Creepy. All right, so let's go. Hit W on the keyboard. And we're gonna navigate to our uh, project directory. So I've created a new folder in here. Okay. And as usual, I'm gonna use the same naming convention, so I'm gonna call it uh, plates. Okay. So I'm gonna export in there. Pasting it in, navigating here. Plates, go inside the folder. Now we could call this uh, 4K, well let's just call it a 2K boat footage because we're going to down convert it to a 2k in a minute and we're going to go a uh, percentage double o d dot exr okay that's going to save out an image sequence so let's go ahead and render it out with the default setting so 666 to the end you know what? for the sake of the tutorial we're only going to do a uh, five seconds so uh let's see 24 times five seconds is 120. Okay, so we're gonna add 120 to 666 plus 6066. And 6186 is our last frame, okay? So, 6186. Eight six is the last frame. First frame is uh, sixty six six. Okay, so we're just gonna remember that. Write it down here. So let's render that out. Rent. Uh, first, we want to down convert it. So let's go half the resolution for the sake of the tutorial. Okay, so we're gonna reformat that. It's just gonna speed up our renders a lot as well. So reformatting it. 
type, we're gonna change this to a, a scale it. We're gonna go half the current resolution, 0.5. So when I turn that off, you see the resolution is 3840, so about 4K, ultra 4K. Going half resolution is now 1920 by 1080. Perfect, it's HD. So that's what we want. So let's go ahead and uh, render this out. Render selected right nodes and is asking us which frames do we want. Do we want the whole five minute footage? No, we want to start it at frame 666 and end 120 frames later or five seconds later. So that's 6186. So let's go. Rendering out. And let's open up that folder, see what it looks like. There we go, it's rendering out. Perfect. Meanwhile, let's go ahead and save our project out. And we're gonna navigate to our uh, project directory. Just put in the root. Okay, go inside there. And we're just gonna call this uh, Nuke 101 Class 3. I don't know what the name of the class is going to be yet, so we'll just call it Class 3 for now. I might call it Boat Removal or something, or Rig Removal. So time is, uh, I'm trying to uh, do this pretty quickly. In the world of uh, VFX and compositing, um, directors, producers often have pretty tight deadlines, so uh, it's a good habit just to get into to work as quickly as possible, so, and learn as quickly as possible. So that's why I'm doing these tutorials to help you learn fastest ways of doing things. There's no need to learn every single little button in here um, unless um, it's needed. So I, my method of teaching you, you guys is on a need to know basis. So, you know, we'll be learning about the buttons as as we need them. Cause there's a whole lot of uh, options we can be doing and nodes, which we use or don't use. I only use probably 20% of what Nuke offers because that's all I need in my workflows. I've managed to just um, find faster ways of doing things. So. Hopefully I can share that with you guys, so. Okay, so we wanna remove this boat. Let's go ahead, well, we gotta bring in our footage, our EXR, there it is. And we're just gonna delete that original, okay. Here we go. All right, so now that we have our footage, uh, we wanna play it back, but it's not playing, right? Well, that's because it doesn't start until way out here, starting at frame 60, 66, so. In other words, you just wanna mark our in and out points. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. So let's go to that frame and mark our in. And let's go to our out, mark the out. Okay, so now we have our ins and outs. So also here in the playback, you wanna change that instead of global to input. Okay, now you got a better view of your frames. 666, there we go. Change that to I. Okay, and 6186 is our out point. So that's marked correctly. So again, we're just playing our input. Here we go, here's our five second footage. So that's kind of the nuances of Nuke. You just gotta kind of learn those uh, basic things. We use a lot as far as breed timing and So let's go ahead and remove this. So how do you do that, you say? It's footage, it's moving. I'll show you how. So we're just gonna, okay, hit a, grab a roto node. We're gonna grab a, uh, no, we could leave, we could use a real footage. So grab a roto node, just create a spline here. We're pretty much gonna sample out an area that we like, okay? And we're gonna plug it over. Okay, so go over to a shape, make that black. 
invert that, roto, output RGBA. So now we have this, hit M on the keyboard, merge that over, okay. Go back to your footage here, change that to auto alpha, add a transform node, hit T on the keyboard, hold control, click and drag that so it's more near that piece and just click and drag it with the left mouse and you notice you can now move that over. So do you see what we're doing here? So I just want to show you guys the extreme version. So let's go ahead and hit T again, bring it over. And we're just going to go over as much as we need. Okay. Actually, uh, let's just go ahead and do that. Yeah. So you just want to line it up. I'm looking right here at this edge. You see that? There we go. That looks good to me. Don't know what that is. We could remove that. And we only need as much to cover the actual thing we're removing, okay? And we are gonna add a blur to the splines, a slight blur, just to blend it a little better. So go ahead and click, drag over it all, hold down control, and that's gonna add a click and drag on this edge thing there, and that's gonna add a slight feather to the roto. Okay. And depending on the screen that you're on, you may not be able to see that, uh, there's a slight color resolution thing going on. But for the sake of the tutorial, in other words, you can play with the uh, spl uh, with the feathering a little more until you're like really happy. Control Alt, hold that down. That creates a new point. You know, that could just smooth it out a little more. Control Alt, hold it and then click here. Click and drag that out. Okay. So now we want to say, this is our reference point, okay? 6133. This thing moves a little bit, so watch this. We're gonna hit play. Oh, actually it's tracking pretty well because uh, it's, it's on the same plane. Hey, that looks, uh, that looks good to me. <laughs> Wow, we might call that a wrap, actually. I don't see any uh, edge issues. I'm gonna turn off the light. Make sure to do this stuff in the dark. You really gotta uh, zoom in. You know, this is the kind of stuff, this is the kind of stuff you need. Uh, like a large, nice resolution screen, you know, like a plasma TV as well. Um, you know, nice calibrated monitors because those edges will show up in the theater, believe it or not. Um, so that's when going in there with a real nice monitor helps. So, you know, just do the best you can. Uh, you know, try it out on a couple different monitors. You might see uh, those edges. I'm not seeing it on mine. So for the sake of this tutorial, that is good. Okay. We are gonna call this a wrap. So I hope you learned a little bit about Nuke and how to do something pretty quick and easy. And hey, that's a shot you can bill for. And you know, depending how much you charge a shot, uh, if you have a bunch of those, it starts adding up, you know what I mean? So, uh, which we'll talk about the business stuff more later. Let me know if you wanna know about business aspects of compositing and visual effects. I'm a supervisor, VFX supervisor, so I deal a lot with that. Call it a uh, renders, nuke renders. Okay. And in this case, we are gonna export an MOV because it's the final product and 
Um, that's usually what we got to send over to the client, MOVs. So uh, go ahead and just render that out. So boat removal, VFX, V1.MOV. Client might see it on their, on their iPhone or, you know, monitor and they say, hey, I see a little bit of edging. Go in there and uh, make a V2. And that's when you go back and uh, make revisions. So uh, let's go ahead and render that out. Render selected right nodes. Custom is correct. That's rendering out our MOV. Oh yeah. So. To recap. Go ahead and just play that back make sure we're happy with it before we end this so let's play this back and see how it looks make sure we're happy with this and uh it looks good to me awesome so that mov you could uh send over to the producer or director and uh, if they're happy with it we're good to go so boom that's it hope you guys learned a thing or two subscribe for more tutorials Leave some comments of uh, tutorials you want to see. I'll be happy to make them. So uh, take care. If you guys like this video, go ahead and hit subscribe for more tutorials.